like you lot. I haven't had the chance to do anything for the last couple of days because it has literally been raining solidly for the past uh, sort of week. Everywhere in this part of uh, the UK is pretty much flooded. But there you go. Love a bit of rain. Everyone loves a bit of rain. But I just want to give a little bit of advice uh, to anyone, really, because it annoys me certain things like this. People don't buy anything really but you know, radios or whatever and they don't keep the box nice right this box is not a good example but it's the only box I've got to hand when you buy a radio keep the radio in good condition but also keep the box in good condition man yeah it, because think about it if you get because a lot of people some people even throw the bloody box away why would you want to throw a box away I have no idea but if you um, keep, keep the box in good condition and if you manage I mean I did, I did have a very good example of what I'm trying to talk about with that Superstar 6900 but I've given it to somebody because they want to buy it and uh, they want to check it over and just have a look and t see how it works but in there there's the mounting bracket to the Ranger but if you keep all the polystyrene inserts all you know mint condition look after them when you unpack the radio put everything back keep all the um, all the polythene everything is packed in you know all the little bags of things come in keep the box in good condition don't keep you know let it wear because obviously this this particular box for the Ranger has obviously been you know battered about isn't it I don't know how old it is but it's been battered about a lot and you know um, but this this radio, you know, they're expensive radios, so you have a good quality box, which this box is a good quality box, you know. You know. So you, it's in your own sort of interest to look after the box, you know, put it in your loft, put it in a storage place, you have everything intact, yeah, and look after your radio, so that if and when you go and sell the radio. You can pack it all up nicely in the box, as if when it was new, and you know it's a good selling point for when you sell your radio. And this goes for anything, right? I keep boxes for everything I buy: computers, vacuum cleaners, not washing machines because obviously they don't really come in boxes; they just come in like plastic shrink wrap. But anything that I buy: microphones, cameras, phone, mobile phones, televisions. Everything that I buy, I keep the box for. If I think I'm probably going to sell the item at some point, I'll keep the box for it. Because then, like I said, when you go and sell it on, you can pack it all away in the box, in the polystyrene inserts, with the polythene around it, and all the little bags for all the remotes or leads or anything, you know, put it all back in there as it was when it was brand new. If the box is in good condition as well, that's all good plus. And you can say when you're advertising your item, you know, in the box, and you can take good pictures of it, and it makes it look really good. And therefore, you're more likely to sell the item you're trying to sell. Plus, you're more likely to get the price of what you're asking for it, and you know, top top dollar, you know, top dollar for it. If you was trying to sell something without a box, or if you were trying to sell it with a tatty box, because I buy a lot of radios, as you know. And a lot of them, the older ones, they don't come with boxes, you know. Some from 1970s don't come with any boxes or nothing, yeah. Some of them don't even come with power cords or microphones. And it's a big shame, but it's good for me because it means I can pay minimum money for them. But if you have the box for something, you can always get top dollar. Because it shows that you've looked after the item to start with, probably. And it also shows that you're, think you're, you're intelligent enough to think ahead. And to me, if I'm buying something and it has the box and everything is in the box and it's all mint condition, I, you know, I'm much more likely to buy it and I'll be much more happy, you know. This box ain't a good example because it's been here, there, and everywhere, you know. And it's just, uh, yeah. But that's, that's there you go. It's the only box I had to hand. But yeah, man. It's just a little word of advice, dudes. You know me. I like to give out words of advice, whether they're good or bad. But I think it has a bit of good advice, you know, just, just keep the box nice.